Hello darlings, my name is Trixie Mattel and welcome to another episode of The Pit Stop. And today we are joined by 200 milligrams of legal dosage of La Ganja Estranja. Woo! Oh, Put your lighters up. Ganja's in the house. <laughs> How are you enjoying the season so far? So far, I'm gagged. The drama is at an all-time high. It's higher than me. I it's <laughs> it's so high. The I drama. Think this is like I mean I don't know. We I feel like we say this a lot, but I think this is the most dramatic season. I presented. mean I heard more snake rattles and you know sound effects than I've heard in a long time. Yeah, and yeah. it's sort of turned into a study on gay culture, where now it's people like looking at the camera, just being like. Boop, like it's now it's I mean you know about that it just sounds oh I I would know about that yeah. yeah so just to recap last week Valentina who's not known as a lip syncer <laughs> like brought down the whole house yes she was amazing she, she was turned 85 pounds soaking knew wet knew every word good for her she was doing that's the what, way to come back just fabric um so what, what was think? that movement fabric. just fabric okay mama imagine looking like Valentina and giving a sh about learning the words even right I wouldn't. If oh, I was Valentina, they would play the music and I would just like. Yeah, she couldn't do that again, Ma. <laughs> she would have been red for filth had she done that. So good for her. So now that Valentina has her lip sync on point, how do you think it's going to affect the other girls? Are they like, uh oh, she learned a lip sync. Yeah. Now I'm concerned. Well, I'm sure the other girls, now that they see Valentina's came accomplished and ready to move on, that's got to make them a little nervous. A little shaky in their boots. The problem with Valentina is, though, she sent home my favorite drag queen, Pheromone. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So, A, she can go to hell. <laughs> B, what did you think of her decision to send Farrah home? Well, I think it says that, you know, Valentina's in the competition for the competition, but I also think that's got to be extra hard for Pheromone because obviously they had drama their whole season with being friends and she didn't pick up the phone for her and now she's voting her off. Yeah. So I think that's got to make their relationship a little challenging. So Valentina and Farrah resolved their feud but now Farrah got sent home by Valentina. Do you think they're gonna go back to fighting? I do. I do. I do too. I think there's gonna be some drama. I think there's gonna be tears. And then I think there will be an eventual makeup, love, and a new relationship. I love the drama. Do you? Let's be honest. If I just wanted to see pretty things compared to one another, yeah. I go to a pawn shop. Sure. Or a dog show. I mean, I like thrift stores, so there's the difference between us. <laughs> I, I obviously do too. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the maxi challenge. It's the snatch game of love. Ooh, a little twist for the kids this year. Now let's just briefly recap. We sure. couldn't even do the real snatch game. No. So how do you think we would fare in the snatch game with a love aspect? I believe it would be awful for me We'd personally. Be in the bottom. Yep, I We'd believe be I would bottom. be swiped left. <laughs> I, I would not make top. But you get to talk to Gus Kenworthy. So hot. His like. worst tooth <laughs> is my best tooth. Do right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Beautiful um, man, the talent on him. Skiing, is he skiing? I don't know what he does, but I know he's an Olympian. <laughs> so I'm <laughs> signed up for it. So let's break down the performances. Okay. Who were your two favorites? I would have to say Naomi Smalls with Wendy Williams. Absolutely. I, I, again, I could just relay, I know that character really well. The faint? So good. <laughs> Hilarious. And she had the outfit on the whole time. I didn't clock that either. So smart. I think she was my favorite too. And my yeah. second favorite is obviously Caitlyn Jenner, uh, Kelly Taylor, oh my God. The medals around her neck. <laughs> Did you clock that? Yes, of yeah. course. The stance, the sitting, she's giving uh, like embarrassing parent sort of realness. Like, what did she say? Malibu. I mean, that was amazing. Yeah, I would have picked Manila as my second favorite. Yeah. I just really lived for the prosthetic nose and just, I loved it. Who was your personal bottoms? For the I think Whitney Houston, Monet Exchange. Yeah, that, that was one hard. was really weak for me. I felt Latrice's was a little unmemorable. I do. I did. Obviously, Gia. I think she was the weakest. It's hard because I'm a Gia Gun fan, and it's Same. it's difficult to watch through the screen and be like, no. Yeah. You know. Well, I I mean I know her, so I really. I think exactly like what she said. She was just really trying to be funny and go for the jokes. And unfortunately, they just weren't landing. I agree. So we're on to the runway. Yes, my favorite part. Boots on the runway. I would have I would have ate this up. I'm just letting you know I would have ate this challenge up. You think? Yeah. You have some cool boots. I have a whole closet of literally thigh high boots. Thigh and no full foot is kind of hot, I think. It just leaves a little, you know. <laughs> just leaves a little. Just a little. <laughs> Just the boys want to know what's up and underneath. So let's start with who your top looks are. Okay, my favorite, hands down, Versace boots, 
Miss Trinity Taylor. Really? Oh my God, I would wear that right now and I would probably never take it off. The boots with the belts, with the perfect outfit, with the blonde hair, with the coif. The hair the was lit. Ma. The hair was beautiful. Ma, she looked like a Versace woman from the 90s. The hair was beautiful. I lived. Yeah, it was amazing. Lived. Now, I'm gonna say this isn't necessarily my favorite look, but I liked it because it was creative, it had a theme and I remember it. And that was Monique's heart, Little Red Riding Hood. Really? I know, I, I know. liked the boots. I just liked the whole, she had the red hood she came in with. She took it off, she's Little Red Riding Hood, then the wolves are eating her. It just was creative and I remember it. I'm not saying it was okay. the best with execution. You're yelling at me. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm excited. No, it was very memorable. And I like a look with a story, which is, I think, what made Manila's look so impactful. Yes. Kind of like Rabbit S&M. Okay, I get it. It was fun. I think this is one of Monet's best runways she's ever had. I agree. Her body? I would have worn that, too, actually. It the, was so cool. It was like almost pants. That's how high up those legs went. Yeah, they were very Rihanna. The, you know, the high cut that's kind of loose at the top. And she looked great in that, that motocross. You have a hair like that. That's that bob. It's like it's an angle. It's my favorite stick. look. It's my yeah. favorite look. The Kylie Jenner, but short. It's a good look. So let's talk about bottoms. Okay. <laughs> what about in the outfits? <laughs> oh, right. Well, I would say for me, my first bottom would have to be Latrice. I know. I know. Uh, when Ross was like, the gays stood up. I was like, no, b the gays were not stood up. <laughs> they were not stood the up. The gays sat down. Yeah, I'm, I just felt like, you know, the bling that was on the shoes and on the leotard was great bling, but it wasn't really thought out. It or felt like, like an afterthought. It didn't felt like interweaved into the outfit. It was like, we made the outfit and then like, okay, we'll just put a bunch of diamonds on it and that will be the challenge, you know? So what's your other bottom runway look? Do I have one? Maybe Gia. Yeah. I don't think it was quite enough. It was a lot of, you know, denim and not enough I mean, considering last week she was in big hair, I'm not saying it always has to be heavy drag. Sure. Because she obviously looked gorgeous. Sure. I mean, we're saying this is Gia's bad look, and she still looks like a f***ing supermodel. Right. My bottoms for runway, you're gonna be mad. It's the Red Riding Hood. Ugh. I thought it was f***ing chopped. Okay. And it was Latrice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least we're on agreeance of one. Yeah. So I don't hate you too much. Just a semi. Yeah. So up next for the judging, we had the tops, which was Manila and Trinity Taylor. Do you agree? I do agree. Those were my, my top two. I think they had amazing runways. I think they had amazing challenge. I think that it was fair. I think they both did a really good job. Yeah. And I think they both knew they were going to win the challenge, I think. Oh yeah, I definitely know Miss Trinity knew. So the bottoms this week are Valentina and Gia Gunn. Uh, I saw Gia coming. Of course. Valentina, I was like, who's mad at her? Right. I really thought it could have been Gia and Latrice or Gia and Monet. Right. But I Monet think, did have a good runway. I was about to say, I think Monet's runway, it just, it, it put her through. So we're back in the workroom and Trinity and Manila have a little kiki right away. Cause Trinity is like, I gotta know what's going on in your mind. It seems like Trinity, Trinity is can playing the game. She can kind of see it coming. Yeah. Like she kind of knows what Manila might do in this situation. Right. And she's like, uh-uh, don't do that to my sister. I would have never considered sending home someone home because they were competition. Because the repercussions of the butterfly effect of it in the real world are too real. Sure. Do you want to go to clubs and have people tell you you're shady for the rest of your life? Because I don't. Right. I would not judge Manila if she chose to send home a strong competitor. I don't think it's necessarily shady. I think it's just playing the game. I think that it also would have been incredible drama. I think people would have gone up. In All Stars, it's different. You have to consider things like, you can send me home tomorrow. Which brings me to the couch discussion between Valentina and Manila. Ooh, it was everything. This got the biggest reaction from you of the whole episode. I literally, it got a huge reaction from you because it was just so gay. It was the gayest. <laughs> it was so, do you know when you're just too gay to stand up? It was like no. that. I just was too gay to stand up. I just had to like, <laughs> oh my God. Like she was just so, she turned it. I didn't expect she, you to say that it was the gayest. It was so gay. She looked at that thing and she said, baby, oh, oh my God, keep me here and beat me fair and square. So then we had the other conversation, which was Gia crying with Manila. Oh, we had Gia and Manila. Gia was feeling very vulnerable. I was glad that we actually got to see her break down a little bit because I think she needed that. People needed to see that, you know, she's not just this mean, evil, you know, bullying person. There is a heart there. There is, you know, a human inside. I just think a lot of times when she's in drag, she gets caught up in that. She gets caught up in the sass and the, you know, the drama of it yeah. all. And, and she forgets that when all that's removed, she's a woman and she doesn't act like that. So 
It's time for lip sync for your legacy. And yes. There's like extra stakes here. Because I love we, it. We sort of have a feeling for whose lipstick is in whose bra right now. Right. We're feeling like Manila has chosen Valentina. Yeah. And Trinity has chosen Gia. Yeah. And so it's sort of like so who there's do you no want to mystery. Win? We're like, <laughs> <laughs> right. And I'm just I'm just gonna call, throw it out there. Trinity is fabulous. Manila won in the first five seconds. She did! Because Manila lip syncs and tells a story. And I've noticed anytime a girl goes back to the back of the runway and touches that, um, you know, wall, you win. It's true. The winner of the lip sync ends up being Manila. Manila. Hooray, Manila won $10,000. Good for her, lovely gal. We know what that means though. She's gotta pull the stick. Yeah, and she's projected to pull Valentina's lipstick. Right. And Valentina's in the back looking pressed. <laughs> but gorgeous. <gasps> gorgeous still, but pressed. <laughs> yeah. So then RuPaul says, can the top two all-stars come to the front? And we're all waiting to see Valentina's name. And it's Gia's name. It's Gia. I thought she left with humility. Completely. You know, she, she left still knowing that she's a star, mm -hmm. but that this is not her game. We won't find out yet, I guess, what went through Manila's mind. I think she had a change of heart. I think she considered being an aggressive competitor and she went with being a fair competitor. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you eliminate Valentina, somebody's gonna burn your house down. Right. So we are down to seven queens remaining. What do you think? I think it's only gonna get more heated, to be Probably. honest. I, I really, I've just been shocked by the, the drama level. So I just think it's gonna continue to go. I thought, well, maybe if we lose Gia, it'll be less, but judging by the preview, honey, these girls are ready. Well, what a wonderful episode of the Snatch Game of Love. I'm Trixie Mattel. Thank you so much, Lagandra, for yes! coming to visit today. Yes, thank you for having me. Of course. It's been a sickening time. I can't do it. Oh my God, can you do it one more time? <laughs> like blow out my eardrum, that was really good. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.